home to one of the powerhouses of Brazilian football, Sao Paulo FC. The teams then, Sao Paulo against Barcelona. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. Here are the lineups we've just been given. So that's got things on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, the very exciting Antoine Griezmann. Um, he has an impeccable first touch, and with the ball under control, he can use as many skills and, and swift changes of direction in, in running from out to in. And he wreaks havoc. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Coaxed out to the wing. Aimed long and direct. Hernanes. Pato with the ball through. Tries to get it forward quickly. Martin. And it's Messi. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Plays it out to the wing. Throw in. Messi. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Barcelona are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Daniel Alves. Hernanes plotting from out on the right-hand side. That's a promising run he's making on the right. He's got away with one there. Griezmann. Going full steam ahead down the left flank. Oh, he's got the ball glued to his feet. Good clearance and very necessary. No goals as yet. Susayeta tries a through ball. Pato looks to dink one in. Fence has got rid of that. Good strong hand by the keeper. Knocks it towards the front. And it's Griezmann. Lovely feet. 
gets it upfield. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Jordi Alba. Looks to slip it through. He's had a shot! Goal! Barcelona! Barcelona are in front! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Barcelona take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And they've been given a corner. They've played it short. And it's Dani Alves. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Danny Alves. Who's going to make this theirs? Sao Paulo are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Hernanes. No surprise at all that this is the guy who's had such a positive impact. Well, not only can a player of such high caliber show the imagination to set up a goal, but he can also produce when the pressure's on to deliver a big moment. This guy was born to create. Now the pass. Cuts it out. It's a goal kick. And it's Griezmann. And he's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. And it's half-time here. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. And the action is back on the way. Sao Paulo need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. I've managed to get it away. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. 
Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Saved only by poor finishing. OK, they've got nothing to show for it, but that was a really incisive counter-attack and it's hard to defend against that type of breakaway. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Pumps it upfield. Jordi Alba. Passes it through. Done very well to intervene. Plays it out to the flank. And the finish! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. It's a loose ball. Jordi Alba pushes it out wide. Messi looking to get on the end of this. He's going to have to tune his range finder before the next one. Referee has seen that as a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. Sao Paulo still behind thanks to that solitary strike. It'll be a throw in. Messi, and that's another throw. Susayeta. And it's Messi. Looks like a good ball through. Shot a goal! That's gone a long way up and away. Oh, great ball! Juan Fran boots it to safety. Oh, that's neat. Looking for a corner. And it's been taken short. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Now the pass. Looks to slip it through. Has a hit! No mistake! Well, you've got to say the odds on him missing from there were very slim. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith.
That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. It's a throw in. There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Pjanic. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Goal! Barcelona! And they get themselves in front! With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Barcelona go into the lead. Messi. That's a throw. Juan Fran. That's not going to make it. Hernanes. Martin, and it's Messi. Drilled in low. Smart save. He can get that clear. And that would have won it. What a massive let-off that was. They're still in it, but uh, this could be pivotal. Sao Paulo make their final change. Sao Paulo reacting swiftly in the wake of conceding that goal. Yeah, and that's not totally surprising. The manager obviously felt his defence needed reinforcement. He can't afford a, a repeat. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. Sao Paulo have themselves a penalty. Referee's got a big call to make here. He's gone to his pocket, and yes, he is off. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with 10 men.
oh, look, Peter, what they need now are, are cool heads and discipline, and instead it looks like they've got a liability in their side. And he scores! Back in business! Oh, never in doubt. He just didn't let his nerves get to him. He struck that with conviction. What a penalty. Quite a thriller this one's become. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Oh, he's in! Shakes the shoots! Gets good distance on it. There's only one word for this. It's baffling. That team needs to figure out where the ball needs to be, and it's not there. Well, this is when your experienced players should come to the fore. They've got to help them keep it better than this. Into the channel. Now here's the through ball. That'll be a throw in. Away from immediate danger. Pato. Clears it out of harm's way. Lacking in accuracy. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Susayeta. There is the final whistle. So it's ended in a draw. Craft and graft and everything apart from a winning goal that never came. An intriguing contest and a result which at least partly satisfies all. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, neither side could get over the line here. Perhaps one team might be happier, but at the final reckoning, it's honours even and no complaints. My thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.